most important model in service marketing is the GAP model. The GAP model of service quality has been developed by Professor Parasuraman and his colleagues, which helps us to identify the gaps between the perceived service qualities that customers receive and what they expect. Let's understand the background of this model. The GAP model of service quality helps to identify the gaps between the perceived service and the expected service. There are basically five gaps which occurs in the service delivery process, like the gap between customer expectations and management perception, service quality specification and management perception, and many more. The gap model of service quality is a framework professionals use to analyze customer satisfaction and identify the areas for improvement, also known as the five gaps model. This tool addresses some of the most common communication challenges that can cause a disconnection between customers' expectations of service and the service they actually receive. The GAP model of service quality also helps managers to develop a better understanding of their customers so they can meet their needs. Some of the industries that use this tool include retail sector, food, hospitality, and health sector. So let's understand this model with a diagram. As I mentioned, there are five gaps. Gap one, gap two, three, four, and five. The first gap is relating to consumer expectation and management perception gap. Management perception and service quality expectation gap is the second. The third gap is service quality specifications and service delivery gap. The fourth is service delivery and external communications to consumers gap. The fifth gap is expected service and perceived service gap. So let me explain each gap in detail. The first gap is the difference between consumer expectations and management perceptions of consumer expectations. The research shows that financial service organization often treat issues of privacy as relatively unimportant, whereas consumers consider them as very impact, important and the gap arises. Let's move on with the second gap. It's the difference between the management perceptions of consumer expectations and service quality specifications. Managers will set specifications for service quality based on what they believe the consumer requires. However, this is not necessarily accurate. Hence, many service companies have put much stress on technical quality, when in fact, the quality issues associated with service delivery are perceived by clients as more important. The third gap is the difference between service quality specifications and the service actually delivered. This is of great importance to service where the delivery system relies heavily on people. It is extremely hard to ensure that quality specifications are when a service involves immediate performance and delivery in the presence of the client. This is the case in many service industries. For example, a medical practice is depending on all the administrative, clerical and medical staff performing their task according to certain standards. The fourth gap is the difference between service delivery intention and what is communicated about the service to customers. These established expectations within the customers may not be met. Often, this is a result of inadequate communication by the service provider. The last gap is the fifth which represents the difference between the actual performance and the customer expectation of the service. Subjective judgment of service quality will be affected by many factors, all of which may change the perception of the service, which has been delivered. Hence, a guest in a hotel may receive excellent service throughout the stay apart from poor checking out facilities. But this last experience may damage his entire perception of service, changing his overall estimation of the quality of the total service provided by from good to poor. The gap model of service quality outlined 
provides a framework for developing a deeper understanding of the causes of service quality problems, identifying shortfalls in service and determining appropriate means to close the gap. Thank you.